everybody. I'm Amy and this is our conspiracy. Uh, in this video I am going to show you how to draw glasses on the human head and this video is dedicated to my portrait class which just wrapped up after six weeks. Um, we were doing self-portraits and almost everybody had glasses and so it became sort of an issue and I, I want to show you some simple tricks about uh, drawing glasses on the face. It's kind of fun. But before I start, I, I just want to say uh, I got my first haircut since COVID hit in March. So it was, what, eight months, nine months, my first haircut. Uh, and they he chopped off my sides. And I, I was a little bit in shock. But uh, I owe it in part to the fact that uh, I'm in Thailand and my Thai's not very good. So... <laughs> Something might have got lost in translation. I don't know, but I, I think it's going to be fine. But I, anyway, that's that's what happened to me today. Now to the lesson. Okay, switch screens. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, part of this lesson uh, assumes that you already know how to construct a head. And if you don't know how to construct a simple human head, want to check out my video on uh, drawing a simplified head that will really help you because you need to know that obviously to put the glasses on the head. So we are going to start, uh, I'm going to give you this really simple information. Uh, when you, you have your head, if your head is an egg, I'll do this pretty quick. Uh, I'm drawing with my finger. I always have to give that disclaimer drawing with my finger, which means this isn't going to be totally accurate. Okay. The eyes are in the middle of the egg. Nope. Nose is halfway down, Doop. I usually do the brow, which is above the eye, down to the nose, your mouth is here, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, that's all you need to know to get started on your glasses. And part of the inspiration from my portrait class was the realization that your glasses can actually give you a lot of information about your nose. And we're doing portraits and they have to really understand what makes that nose, that specific nose, you know, different from every other nose. And glasses can help inform that. Um, I used to say, draw the head, draw the whole head, and then put the glasses on. But I think you can start with this much information, simplified head. So the first thing you wanna know is where is the bridge of the glasses, right? So let's say you're looking at a photo, you're looking at yourself and you can look, I don't know if you can see me, but where the, the bridge is compared to my eyes, which are indicated by this line. So then I draw that and then just that much information is going to help me see the triangle that is the nose. A, a very common mistake when we're drawing noses is to make them too straight, long, and then all the action at the bottom. Not good. So here we go. It's wide, as wide as the space between the, the eyes. So let's say that there it is. So that, and then, of course, we have nostrils and action down here. It's a little bit of a triangle. Again, I'm not teaching you how to draw noses, but this little bridge helps you see the shape of the nose. So then your glasses are gonna come up here and start to draw. First thing I would do is like, where is the end of the glasses? I find where I'm going, then I draw my glasses. And then before I do the whole lens, I do the other, other part here, over here. Wah. Okay. Rather than draw this whole lens and then this whole lens, I do them this line, this line. I think, where's the peak? Usually there's, they're not just round, but they have a peak. Let's say the peak is here and it's coming in at an angle. Again, a good jump over, where's the peak? I do there. Then I might go up. See, that's even wonky. And then there's the eye in there, the eyes on the eye line. I'm gonna put that in later. My eyes kind of a, a scribble. As long as it's in the right place, you can get away with a little distortion, which is very fun. You give this person a lip. Just show it a little respect. And then you got the sides of the glasses. And, that, and then you shape the face, blah, blah, blah. But that's basically the first lesson. Okay, now we're going to move on to a little more complicated... Let's say we have this kind of situation. Okay, this is a little bit more tricky. So again, I'm not going to just draw part of her face, even if I want it cropped. I'm going to draw the whole leg because it all plays in. Whoops. 
hold on, let me get organized. Okay, I'm gonna draw that egg. Draw that egg, which, oh, that's a terrible egg. <laughs> this is, I'm drawing with my finger, I'm telling you. <laughs> you try it. <laughs> finger on a mouse pad. No apologies, no apologies for the haircut, no apologies for the egg. All right, good enough, good enough. Okay, and then her eyes, I'm gonna, she's looking now, now slightly, I'm gonna just ballpark this, okay? And then here's her nose again. And then she's looking away from us. So here's the eyebrow that I wanna get going down to the nose, which is, let's say it's over here. Okay, and you got her mouth, da da da, bada boom. Okay, so then again, check it out where is the bridge of the glasses it's low in this case very low and a little bit outside of her nose so that is helpful information do you see that the bridge of the glasses her eyes up here high here's the glasses and then i sort of ignore the line but i'm keeping it in mind where is this going to go over here i'm going to take my guess and then it's, it goes right through her eye and then here's, I'm gonna finish her nose crudely, but her glasses are big, they're all the way down here at her nose. So now I know this. So this is great. So now I can draw that lens, I find it. Same here, I go out, where do I need to go? That line's kind of going north. I'm gonna go south a little here, way outside of the face. Wow, look at that, awesome. And then you got her eye up here, which is very cool, right? She's looking out at us. This one's partially hidden, but that's basically it, right? And then of course you have to, you gotta fig figure out your egg, gotta reshape, gotta draw. Here's her ears gonna be up here slightly cause she's tilted, she give her hair, bada bum, bada bing. Okay, and then maybe even like it is cropped, but it's important to know the whole egg shape and relate everything to that. Okay, that is pretty good. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, this one, these, these are ridiculously oversized, which is kind of why I picked it. Okay, one more time. What are you gonna do? Start with the egg. I'm a little bit better if my egg's right, right in front. Okay, eyes in the middle of the head, middle of the egg. I'm not even looking at her nose and the lighting's fairly even, but it's a little bit more coming from this side, the shadow, looking, looking at the shadow on her nose. But even if you don't have good light, just, just decide. One side's gonna be darker. Never wanna do a line on the other side of the nose as well. That's not good. Okay, so we know where her eyes are. Where's the bridge of the glasses? Right along maybe the bottom of the eye. So yeah, there we go. The bridge of the glasses. Look at this. She's got eyebrows, obviously. Nice thick. Let me put the other one on. And then these glasses are all oh, go all the way up and touch that eyebrow and go way out, even outside the line of her face. So you see that? And then all the way down here, a little bit of an angle. I, before I make that mark, I know where it is over here. Then I think, does it line up at the bottom of her nose? Yeah, pretty much it does. So here it's a little bit of an angle. So there. So then I can just repeat this. Take it over. I see this one, I line it up. Bada boom, bada bing. There. Okay. And then of course there's this kind of fun thing. It's going across the top. And then here I find the next point slightly higher, not too much. Get it here, slightly higher, not too much. But boom, there we go. Let's give her lips. Okay. And then of course, and then I have to change the egg. I gotta make this look better. And then her eyes are here. Actually, I'm going to raise them up slightly. Usually they're like right on the middle of the line, but there we go. That's, that's good. And then mysterious. 
And I can shape her, she's got a beautiful shaped face. Play with that, but man, she got some glasses on, rocking them. And then you can also do like, you know, like a little hardware if you want, if, there, if that exists over here, a little thing, this little thing. Sometimes that can be fun to play with. Have fun. You got to let go where you can let go. If you're not trying to measure anything. Hair is one of those places where it's fun to just let go. Have some fun. Okay, there you go. That's your class lesson. So you've got to draw the egg, got to draw the head. Make sure that that's in place. Draw the head and then find the bridge of the glasses, which will help you find the shape of the nose. Or maybe you're just going to have it be very simple. But get this, relate it to the eye line, get the terminal points out here, then think of the shape. Look for this point here where it turns and this point, if you care about the shape of those specific glasses. And then where are the eyes in this shape? Make sure that they're where they're supposed to be. They should be if you have the eye line and you're following my steps. It should all work out. So there you go. Um, comment, send me a message. Tell me um, how you like the lesson. I think it's pretty fun. Um, glasses are a lot of fun, a uh, great opportunity. Um, you can also put reflection in them and anyway, put the little dots. Sometimes I put these two little dots in here. If I have a little white, if I'm working in color and I have a white marker or something and that makes them pop out as well so anyway have fun don't avoid glasses and um i'll see you soon artconspiracy.net um see you next time